For our videos, the procedures are the same for limb and in logit, so I'll just refer to limb dip. Let's get started by opening a project file. From the file menu, select Open Project. In Local Disk C, go to the LimDep 10 folder, then open the Project Files folder. Let's use the Healthcare Project file. The number of observations is shown at the top of the window. The variables are listed when you open the Variables tab. There are two ways to submit commands to LimDep. The menu-driven command builders, which are helpful when you first get started, and the editing window, which is faster and more flexible. Not all commands are available in the menus. Let's get started by setting the sample. You can do this with the sample command or the project menu. Select Set Sample, then Range. Let's set this sample to the first 1,000 observations. You can see that the number of observations is now 1,000. Let's build another command. You can create new variables using the Create command or with the Project menu. Select New, then Variable. The window on the right gives a list of common functions. Let's create a variable for the log of income. Choose a name for the new variable and type it in the Name window. We'll use Log Inc. Then select the Log function in the right window. Just double click or highlight and click the arrow. Substitute the variable income for x and click OK. You can see the new variable in the project window. Now let's run a regression using Log Inc. You can use the Regress command or the Model Menu command builders. Select Linear Models, then Regression. For the dependent or left-hand side variable, select Log Inc. For the independent or right-hand side variables, select 1, Female, and EDUC for Education. Then click Run. The results appear in the output window. You'll notice that LimDip also places the commands above the results. Here are the Sample, Create, and Regress commands. The command builders generate the command syntax for you. Once you learn the syntax, you'll find it faster to type commands in the editing window. Let's open an editing window. Go to the File menu, select New, then text command document. The editing window functions like an ordinary text editor. You can type your commands directly into the editing window and submit them. You can also bring commands submitted with the command builders into the editing window. Just highlight and either drag or copy and paste the commands from the output window into the editing window. Here you can edit the commands or save them for later use. Don't worry about the characters at the beginning of the line. LimDip will ignore them. Just make sure each command starts on a new line. Let's take a look at the command syntax. It's verb, semicolon, specification, semicolon, specification, dollar sign. The commands sample, create, and regress are called verbs. The verb is followed by a semicolon, followed by parts of the command called functions or specifications. All specifications are separated by semicolons. Some commands have just a single specification, others may have two or as many as 20. Specifications may be in any order. You'll note that every command ends with a dollar sign. Each verb has a unique name. Only the first four letters of the verb are actually needed. For example, you can type create or just C-R-E-A. Every verb must start on a new line. Use capital or lowercase. It does not matter. Spacing and the number of lines do not matter. The commands in our example are frequently used commands. The sample command sets the sample size. The format is sample, semicolon, first variable to last variable, dollar sign. To reset the sample to all observations, you can also use sample, semicolon, all dollar sign. As shown in our example, the create command creates new variables. The format is create semicolon new variable equals transformation dollar sign. You can also use the create command for algebraic transformations. Let's take a look at the regress command. This is a typical model command. The basic format for all model commands is 
model semicolon LHS or left hand side equals dependent variable semicolon RHS or right hand side equals independent variable dollar sign. Almost all models require these terms. The RHS should generally include one to request the constant term. There are over 100 model commands. All have the same form. Models have different required specifications and many optional specifications. You can find a summary of commands in the LimDep reference guide. To submit commands from the editing window, just highlight the command and submit it from the Run menu or the Go button. You can save the editing window for later use. Just as there is a command syntax, there are naming conventions for the variables and other entities in the project. Names may not contain more than eight characters. The first character must be a letter or the underscore. Names may contain letters and numbers. Names may not contain symbols such as dash, plus, asterisk, percent, etc., other than the underscore. There are 21 reserved names that you may not use, such as 1, the constant term in the model. The list of reserved names is provided in the LimDep reference guide. So, to review, we showed two ways to specify commands, with the command builders and the editing window. We reviewed the command syntax and naming conventions and showed basic formats for a few essential commands. Thanks for watching.